Hey, what's up, everybody? Oh my gosh, you guys. I am so incredibly excited to be here today. Like, I seriously cannot even contain myself. I am so incredibly excited and so incredibly proud of you guys for making it here to day three. I know. I am just in so much celebration. I am so excited that you're here. So if you jump on, say hi so that I can say hi to you. Let me know. Have you been watching the challenge? What have you been getting out of it? Because today is literally the day where we get to totally and completely transform. We get to, you know, take this information that we've been learning over the past couple of days, the past two days. This is day three, you guys. I am just like, I can't even believe you guys have been here this entire time. It's just, it's incredible. It is so incredible. I love it. This is why I love being a coach. This is why I love doing what I do. And I can't wait to share with you guys the things that we're going to do today because, ah! <laughs> like I said, I'm just so excited. I am in this high vibe energy today because I was on the phone. I was on a Zoom call with one of my most incredible, amazing beautiful clients that I I am just so in love with her. I am so in love with what she's doing in the world. And you guys, I'm, I might cry because I'm just so incredibly blessed by everything that I get to do in my world and everything that you guys in this tribe that you guys have allowed for me to do to transform. And my client is doing something so beautiful and amazing that I'm so, so excited for, for her. Um, and then I got on a phone call shortly after with another woman who were co-creating something beautiful. And it was just, it was mind-blowing. So I shared about it in my Facebook stories. If you guys want to go watch, my name is Val Nichols. I am Val Nichols of Val Nichols Coaching. And I am the creator of this tribe. I'm the creator of the um, Money Madness Boot Camp. And I'm so incredibly blessed to be here with you guys. I'm so incredibly blessed to be able to serve you, um, to be able to help you transform your mindset to the next level so that you can break through the things that have been holding you back for long enough. Are you guys ready today to break through the mindset blocks that have kept you stuck for long enough? If you are, Beautiful. let me know so, because, hi, um, hello, hello. oops, that was my live stream. So if you are, let me know whether if you want to give me a heart, if you want to say something like, just say that's me. I am ready to completely transform my mind because today we are going to do that. We are going to literally visualize to actualize. I'm going to teach you guys how to program your GPS system. I'm going to teach you how to program your abundant GPS system so that you can dial it in and you can completely just manifest and create every single thing you desire. Guys, so here's the deal. As we, there is nothing, I mean, there has been nothing more obvious to me in my life in the past couple months. As we've been going through this COVID crisis that there is a whole world out there that is stuck in scarcity and stuck in lack. I mean, there's, there's so many different camps of mindsets out there that I'm not going to go into them. I'm not going to go into all that. We don't need to do that. But, you know, it's very obvious right now that there are people who are living in extremes. There are people who are living one way or another are, you know, fully extreme. Whether that's you d agree with mass, you don't agree with mass. I'm not here to talk about that. I'm not here to debate. However, you know, we're living in these extreme mindset, mindsets where it's literally right now, what the world is saying is that it's an either or, either or conversation. And what I invite you guys to really consider, what I invite you guys to really grasp onto is the fact that, you know what, we don't have to live in the black and white. We don't have to live in this world where either you agree with what I say or you don't, or we're not friends. We don't have to live in this world where either you're rich or you're humble or you're rich or you're greedy or you're greedy or you're, you know, you're going to get in heaven, whatever that is, you know, whatever these mindsets are that we believe, we don't have to live, we don't even have to participate in that conversation anymore. We don't have to, we have a choice to decide, we get to decide, we get to choose 
if we want to buy into this lack and this scarcity and the mindset, we get to choose if we're going to sit around and literally wait for the government or for things to open up or for someone else to decide that we can go out and create abundance for ourselves. when right now it is so available for you. You guys, like, it's just, it doesn't even make sense right now, but it's, it's like, it's so available for you. When we dive into the fact, when we make the choice that we want to be flexible and that we get to create a conversation that's and, and conversation. We get to create win-win situations. We get to go out there and be women of wealth. We get to go out there and be women of worth. We get to go out there and become women who know so deeply in who they are, who believe so deeply in who they are, that they can stand firm in their foundation. They can stand firm in their belief. They can stand firm in their confidence. They can stand firm in knowing who they are, regardless of what happens in the world, regardless if, if we're in the middle of a pandemic, regardless if you have a job, if you have a paycheck, if you have whatever, if you have a, a spouse, if you're single, if you have kids, whatever it is, regardless of any of those things, when we live in abundance, we live in the conversation that we can have it all, that's when the magic happens. If we want to literally program our abundance and wealth GPS system, if you want to take control, take control of your future, of your destiny, of the amount of abundance that you create, of your ability to create things that would have never existed before. If you want to create things that are, you know, win-win situations. If you want to create things that are so much bigger in the world and so much bigger than you and who you are, then that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. That's the exact conversation we're going to have today. When we are taking the time to, and you guys, I think about like, I think about growth and mindset and my business in everything I do. So literally as I'm, I'm, I was planting my garden earlier this month or earlier last month, um, I was thinking about how businesses are a lot like gardens, you know, personal mindset is a lot like gardens and how your money mindset is a lot like a garden. You choose what you want to grow. You choose what you want to grow. It's in each and every single thought, in each and every single action that we take or don't take, in every thought that we have or don't have or choose to take captive, in every single situation we get to choose what we're going to grow. And we get to choose what we nurture and what we water and what we give light to. We choose as we you know, plant this beautiful, delicate, gorgeous seed we choose if we water that thought, if we pay attention to that thought, if we allow that thought to cultivate and grow. We nurture these thoughts, right? I mean, honestly, there was a time in my life when it was so satisfying to hold on to my ugly, you know, um, limiting lack mindset because I got something out of it. I got something out of it. It was juicy. It was comfortable. I was able to attract a lot of attention from it. I was able to, you know, get people to help me because I had this lacking mindset. But you know what the thing is? That at the end of the day, it didn't serve. It doesn't serve the world for someone else to come around and save me. It didn't serve the world when I had the mindset that, you know, the men in my life got to dictate how much money I got because they controlled the finances. It didn't serve me when I was in a lack mindset and I couldn't serve the way that I get to serve today. It didn't serve me. It doesn't serve the world as a whole. And here's the deal. If you want to literally program your abundance and wealth uh, GPS system, it's a lot like gardening. You first pick what you want to grow. Do you right now in this moment, do you want to grow a lack mindset? Do you want to grow a story of lack? then you know you can continue to stay in the place and I'm not saying you guys are in that place but if you choose that you can continue to stay in the place where you're nurturing and you're watering and you're giving light to the lack which is that I can't afford it that um, you know the harder you work the more the government takes that um, there's not enough you know that conversation it doesn't just come up in money 
it comes up in time it comes up in resources it comes up in you know maybe if you're you're dating and you're looking for the right guy and you have a mindset that you know all the good ones are taken it comes up in all of these different ways you guys and so when you get to choose what do you want to grow what do you want to nurture what do you want to cultivate we get to choose what do we want to grow if we want to grow a mindset of abundance and wealth then we get to you know we get to plant the seed we get to water the seed we get to nurture it we get to have patience and watch it grow we get to bring light to the fact that there's always enough that resources besides your time honestly like because you know we all have 24 hours in our day but if you can think about your day is like not just 24 hours but 24 beautiful gorgeous abundant hours right like I do this all the time people are like oh my gosh Val we only have five minutes left like my clients are like we only have five minutes left and I'm like yeah we have five big beautiful gorgeous minutes left and we can worry about there not being enough and we can worry about the fact that in five minutes this call is going to end but or we can say hey what can we create in these five minutes you choose what you want to grow you choose what you nurture, what you water, and what you give light to. And you know, if those thoughts come up, if those thoughts of lack and those thoughts of scarcity come up, you get to choose a different choice. You get to choose a different thought. Like literally, you guys, those stories will come up. And you know, for me, um, I remember when I first started out on this journey and I had such a broken, messy, um, ugh. Have you guys ever seen the show Hoarders? Like my mind was like the show hoarders like all this stuff in there that I wanted to hold on to it was sick it was gave me comfort and I wanted to hold on to this stuff my money mindset my mindset my brain was like that like hoarders like a little house that was packed so full of crap that I was like oh, but I need that I need that lack mindset because it serves me and you know at the time it kind of did and I held on to it but we get like one by one, I got to take a look at each one of these things. Each one of these things that I was holding on to so tightly because at some point they served me. At some point they did good for me. At some point they were serving me for survival. And I got to, you know, bring it to light. And I got to realize that there's certain things I don't need. I'm going to just throw it out. And I got to realize that, you know, I didn't have the frame of reference of what abundance looked like and what wealth looked like. So I got to make the choice to choose new seeds. And I planted new seeds in my garden and I, I, I nurtured them. And every single day I'd come out and I would give it a little bit of love. And I would, you know, when I'd see the weeds coming, when I'd see those old beliefs come up, I would pull the weeds and I would pull them out quickly. As soon as I saw them, as soon as I saw them growing, I would pull it out and I would plant a new seed and I would continue to nurture and I would grow and it would be turn. Next thing I knew, there was these beautiful, gorgeous, beautiful flowers blooming and there was abundance and there was wealth and it was no longer hard work. It was no longer hard work. It became like this intuitive thought. It became this new way of thinking. It became a new abundant way of being. And eventually it became so much a part of me that it became who I am. Who do you believe you are? Who do you believe you are? You know, I hear the most tragic thing in, in the world, you guys, like I'm literally like, I just wanna help people all the time because I'm a coach. I wanna help people all the time. But here's the thing, and I was just talking to one of my clients about this this morning, you know, like I can't help everybody. I can't help everyone who needs it. I get to help the women who want it. And that is such a gift. I get to help the women who truly want to change, who want to create a beautiful, abundant lifestyle. I want to. I get to help the women who actually want to rise up and be a bigger, bolder, more beautiful, more gorgeous, more amazing, more free, more ecstatic, more full of life version of themselves. So. As you know, you realize like what, who do you see yourself as? Do you see yourself as somebody who's always going to be broke? And you know what? Like I'm not making you wrong in this. If that's where you're at, that's just information. And you get to pick new seeds. You get to plant new seeds. You get to choose new choices. And if you are in that place where you see that, you know, you recognize, you identify with 
the per type of person who doesn't make money. You identify as the type of woman who doesn't care for herself, who doesn't nurture herself, who doesn't grow. Then, you know, you get to choose to change that. So as we talk about, you know, programming our abundant, wealthy mindset, what I want to share with you guys is that you get to visualize to actualize. Is that you get to, um, you know, choose what you want to grow. So I have a couple of things I want you guys to answer for yourself tonight, which is number one, what is your current income? And you know what, that, that number, when you write it down, might feel icky for you. It might feel off. You might have feelings of unworthiness. You might have feelings of doubt. You might have feelings of fear. Your income might be, you know, whatever number that is. That could be somewhere between 3000 a month. It could be 30000 a month. It could be 100000 a month. You know, what is that for you? And so number two, I want you to ask yourself, what is your desired income? Go ahead and write it down. And when you look at that number, I want you to really feel into it. Feel, does this number feel aligned for me? Does this number bring up feelings of, is it scary? Is it exciting? Is it still a feeling of low energy of like not being enough? If it feels like it's not enough, raise it. And keep raising that number until it feels like it's aligned for you. If you have a hundred thousand dollars and you're like, "Ooh, that doesn't that doesn't feel right for me," like it doesn't bring me joy, it doesn't spark me up. If maybe if your income goal is two hundred and fifty thousand dollars this year, write that down. If that feels aligned for you, then celebrate it. Celebrate and know that you're planting new seeds. You're choosing new thoughts. So if that feels aligned for you then go with it. If it feels too low or if it feels too high, sink into yourself and, and just ask yourself, is this, does this feel scary to me because I'm excited? Does this feel scary to me because it's, it's stretchy, because it's a goal that's a little bit more than I think I can handle? Or is this really an unrealistic goal? Am I setting myself up for, um, for failure? Am I setting myself up to be disappointed? So when you look at that, I want you to um, then look at like what is in the gap for you? What's in the gap for you? Remember, we get to fill in the gap. We get to program our abundant GPS system so that we know where to go. We know exactly how to navigate and get to the place of abundance that you truly desire. So what's in the gap for you? If you're feeling blocked in that, just keep asking yourself over and over and over until you can really like figure out that answer. What is in the gap for you? Is it yourself? Are you standing in your way? Is it your mindset? Is it the fact that you um, are staying in a job that you don't like because at least it's a steady income and you know in your heart that you have the desire to create a business, that you have the desire to create something so much bigger than yourself. Are you afraid to ask for that raise that you need? And then lastly, I want you to write down three false beliefs that you currently have around money. That could be that you're always going to be broke. That could be that if you make too much money, your family's going to judge you. That could be that if you make a lot of money, people are going to say that you're flaunting. And maybe they have. Maybe you've been injured in the past. Maybe you've had people, your own family, your friends say, oh, you flaunt your money. Oh, you're just showing off. And if that's what your belief is, write it down. Whatever it is for you. If you believe that it's not possible for you, write that down. And then when you're done with that, I want you to re rewrite those three false beliefs. So if your false belief is that um, I'll always be broke, I want you to rewrite three positive money mindset beliefs that are going to cross those out. You want to flip the script. So if your false belief is that I'm always going to be broke, I want you to write a new money mindset mantra that I am abundant. Money flows easily to me and through me. I celebrate each and every single dollar as it comes in and it goes out. 
because I truly believe and I trust that God is going to provide. I attract wealth easily. Or one that one of my old clients came up with, I attract money like bees to honey. So I want you to come up with three new money mantras that are gonna counteract your false beliefs. And then when you're done with that, really just sit with it and feel it and know that you know in this moment, in every single moment, you get to choose the seeds that you're planting in your mind. You get to choose what you're planting. You get to choose what you nurture. You get to choose what you water and what you bring light to. And when you use these new money mantras, each time you have that false belief come up, each time you have something within you come up, then just know and trust and believe that as you nurture and you water and you bring to light each and every single one of these new money mindset beliefs, that you will absolutely watch as if it's like magic. You guys, this might not even make sense to you right now, but once you go through this process, once you realize that it gets to be easy, this is literally gonna be like, like just, you're gonna be like, Val, I, I don't even understand. This doesn't even make sense. This doesn't even make sense that you having me write down three money mantras like changed my life. Like I, it doesn't make sense, but it's gonna make sense you guys. When you get done with those, answering those questions, it's going to be just a game changer. It's going to up level you in ways that, you know, you'll be like, wow, I didn't even know I had this false belief. I did not even know that these things were hiding beneath the surface and that this was a weed in my beautiful garden that I needed to pull out. And so I'm going to leave you guys with that. So please go and answer these questions. And then tomorrow, you know, today we are, we are programming our abundance wealthy GPS system. Tomorrow we're going to talk more about closing the gap between where you are now and where you truly want to be. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comments when you answer the questions so that I know you're hanging out and that you guys are powering through this beautiful gorgeous challenge. And let me know what did you get from this training today? What's landing for you and what is your biggest takeaway? because I cannot wait to bless each and every single one of you when we get done here on Friday, that you will each be able to take away something magical, beautiful, and you will have a gorgeous garden that is growing right before your eyes. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for letting me hang out today. I love you. I am so incredibly proud of you, and I will see you tomorrow for day four. Ah! All right, guys, I love you. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're interested in getting more information, hit subscribe below. You can also find me on my website at www.bellnichols.com. I'll see you guys later. Mwah.